Hi guys, Janice here, and in today's video, I'm reviewing the new Open Run Pro by Shox. Welcome back to the channel guys and if you're new to the channel welcome please like and subscribe to my content and if there's anything you would like to see please let me know. So firstly before I start the video I've got a little friend just down there Dino my little furry friend um, he might make an appearance he might not but he wants to be on every video now and he wants to sit on my lap when I do the videos so just so you're warned. Um, so now on to the review and um, I've been kindly gifted a pair of the Open Run Pro by Shox. Um, to try and test. Now, um, Shox was formerly known as Aftershocks and they've just recently had a rebranding with their name and they've released this new model so of headphones. So um, I wanted to, uh, well, I wanted to see what this was like and I've had quite a few of their previous models like the Aeropex and I'll show that, I'll compare them a bit uh, shortly and um, I just wanted to see what the difference was because, to be honest, what what difference, what mu what mu well, much more can you do um, when they they were pretty good anyway. So these were the so the Aeropex were um, have been out for a couple of years now. I think more than two about two to three years, and they are their they were their flagship um, well their flagship product, um, and now they've released this one, which um, the Open Run Pro. And this retails roughly at £159.95 on their website at the moment. Now I'll talk about the features in a minute, but if you're unaware of Shocks now, um, as said, formerly known as Aftershocks, they're bone conductor headphones. So when you put the headphones on, um, they they just um, they sit right here um, outside the ear, and um, that you can hear very clearly the music and also um, you can hear the surroundings. So that's what I like about them. You can hear the surroundings, um, so it's quite safe when you're, um, you know, when you're running on your own or walking, um, that you can, you can hear the surroundings like cars and stuff. So um, it makes you feel a bit more safer. And um, yeah, so that, that's what they are, bone conductor. They're not, they're not um, in, the, uh, in your ears. Um, right, so I'm gonna start by um, taking out the box. Um, if I get it out, there you go. Oh, right, there you go. So it comes in a box. Um, so it comes in a box, standard box, really. It says shops. Um, and then when you open the box, it comes. Uh, it comes with instructions, um, which are underneath here. Um, not sure you want to see those. And um, the charger, USB charger and um, a hard case. Now I like this because the uh, previous models came with a soft case so they, they decided to um, change them so it comes with a pretty hard case um, and I feel like you can put a bit more stuff in it whereas um, it was quite crammed to get everything in really with the uh, soft case if you want to put the charger and stuff in there so I like to carry the charger around with me um, when, I, when, I go, when, I, when, I, um, when I'm carrying this around to like on holiday or something. So um, you can see it's got shocks and they open them up and um, there you go, you can see the, the Open One Pro are there. Um, and I mean, you can put, you can put the um, leads in there. So it's quite a good case, quite solid. Now, um, looking at, just take them off. Um, so what, what are the key differences first? So um, like looking at cosmetically. So firstly, let's, um, let's, let's look at these two. So that's the Aeropex. Um, before and this is obviously the open run. Now, what we can see firstly is um, that they've changed slightly. Um, so you can see that the name, the logo, have changed. Um, the both that is more the light to show you whether um, if, if it's on or off, um, or if it's charging, is a lot clearer than that one. Obviously, um, a lot clearer. Now, um, it, it looks slightly bulkier as you can see, but as you can see, it is slightly smaller. So it's not really that, it may look bulkier, but it's not, um, so it's slightly smaller. And um, I find that it actually fits better on your on your ears, but they did fit well, well anyway. Um, and you'll see that the charger unit as well has slightly, um, 
slightly changed as well. So to accommodate making it a little bit smaller, it's gone down to the side, so that's that. Now, in regards to the rest of the design, um, if we look over here, again, you've got the button there, uh, very similar, the size um, is slightly a little bit bigger, I'd say, that side, that way. Now, I'll explain the, um, as you can see as well, that the music, um, you can see the speaker is, is quite exposed. So it, um, it's quite exposed, whereas there wasn't one before, if you can see, wasn't one before that. So um, that's another major change, really, um, with the speakers. Um, and um, it's slightly a little bit bigger, but um, as I mentioned, but it fits better. So that's what it looks like co cosmetically. Um, right, so the features, what features does it, um, it, it, um, it give? Well, firstly, um, with the uh, speakers being um, exposed, of course, um, and they, and again, oh sorry, I mentioned there as well, there's, there's speak, speakers there, so you can hear. Um, again, you've got nothing here, they're all, they're all enclosed. Now, of course, you're a bit worried if it gets wet, what's it, is it gonna cause any problems? Um, this is water resistant, uh, re resistant, a bit like um, the other ones, so um, that's fine. But um, there's two, I'd say there's two main uh, key differences uh, with these, um, with the Open One Pro. And the first thing is that it has enhanced base, uh, sorry, base, and um, you, uh, where sometimes when I used to listen to this, and um, I, I listen to a lot of uh, hip hop and rap, and um, sometimes when the bass or the bat beat, it used to like um, vibrate like, boom, like that, um, and it didn't, uh, sometimes it just startle me. Um, so that, that was a bit strange. Don't have that problem with this. Um, it's more clearer, so the music comes out more clearer in the sound. So that, that's really good. And um, it lasts for 10 hours, so, so it lasts 10 hours. But the feature I really like about it, it has quick charge. So you can charge up for five minutes and that lasts for around one and a half hours, which is an absolute game changer for me, because what happens with these ones, they took forever to charge, I found, and then when I, um, like sometimes when I went out and, or I charged them up for 20 minutes, it didn't last very long at all. So um, these uh, these last, um, quick, got a quick charge feature, which allow it to charge even quicker, and therefore it lasts longer. So. That's, um, that is definitely a game changer for me. Now, in regards to putting them on, um, they, they, they fit fine, they're, uh, they're fine. The quality's really good. Um, again, you get all the features where you're able to hear, um, you can still hear people, um, like uh, your surrounding stuff. So it's not in, if it was in your ears, um, you'd have a problem, you just hear the music. So it's, it's what I like about it. And um, yeah, in regards to it, I think um, I was quite surprised because I thought they will they would not be able to um, improve it um, that much more. But I think that those two key features are a really um, important aspect of it. And um, yeah, I've been I've been running with them, and I've been running them a lot recently with um, more music as well because um, uh, I'm in quite a lot of my sessions, uh, and it's really helped. So what do I think? Um, I think for £159.95, uh, I think if you can get an older version, the older versions uh, for cheaper, and I think they're probably for about £100, then maybe put off a little bit, and uh, because they're cheaper, you can save yourself £50, um, and go for the older model, if you can get hold of the older models um, elsewhere, but obviously I don't think um, it will have aftershock and not shocks. Um, but if you're willing, if you want to invest in these, they're, they're really good, I think. Um, I highly recommend them. And um, I, I just like all Aftershocks products, and um, I just think these two key features are, are like uh, a really a good feature. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you tried, if you've tried any of their new products, please let me know. Um, drop a comment in the comments box. And the champions of the disabled uh, category, Henrietta Tarasevich, Emilianis Christodoulou, Christodoulou.